Hello everyone and welcome to the BI Whiskey YouTube channel. I've done some pretty cool stuff recently with bookmarks and I wanted to do a quick video on, on this one and this is creating a menu, a navigation menu for your reports. Now we know we can create links and bookmarks uh, and add a back button etc and, and use that as the, the sort of links between pages but I'm talking about a real interactive menu that shows you exactly where you are in the in the reporting suite. Um, now, here's my original HR report. Very nice, I hear you say. Thank you very much. This is what I do. I make this look good. Okay. So, um, as you can see here, I've already created a little link that goes to the Cygnus report. But what I want is a proper menu like when you go onto a website you've got a navigation menu that's throughout there throughout the the sort of website whenever you want it from whichever page you're on and I'm going to implement that same sort of logic here in our reports okay so I'm going to get straight into it okay uh, there are a few prerequisites which I'll go over now so what we do need beforehand is we need some buttons okay so I've created three buttons here home page levers and sickness and I've got the same again in orange home page levers and sickness and then I've just got an extra one just to fill up the the page for now so you need those before you start you need the buttons already created okay now this is our home page uh, this is the bullet page that people will land on uh, this is our sickness analysis and that's our levers forecast now what we need to do is create a bookmark for each of these pages so if we go over to our view tab up here, view our bookmarks pane, it'll give you this bookmarks area. We'll just add one here whilst we're on the home page and we'll call it home page. Okay. Then we'll go over to our sickness analysis. And when that loads up, we'll add another one. And we'll call this sickness. Okay, then finally go over to our levers forecast and we'll add another one and we'll call this levers. Okay, so as we click on our links, our bookmarks, they'll go to the pages that we've set them as. Okay, so now that that's done, we've got our buttons created, we've got our bookmarks created, so now you can start adding these buttons to the to the page. Now I'm going to move over to my version 2 report, which is a Blue Peter, Blue Peter style. This is one I did earlier. All I've done is sort of shift all these little uh, visuals over to the side a little bit, and I've created a little space over here for a menu. Okay, so first of all, um, we need to populate this space with uh, a little area for a menu. So, of course, rectangle to the rescue. So, we're going to add a quick rectangle here. Place it there. Let's resize it. What size do I want it? I want it at 136 by uh, 614. Okay, now let's give this a title, report navigation, background colour black, white, centre, 12, okay, maybe not 12. Okay, and then I'm going to move this line, I'm just making it the same colour. Let's make it white, and then let's fill it with white as well. Okay, so that's our little reporting area. Okay, now I'm going to add an image. Now here's our buttons that we created earlier and I'm going to start with a white home page okay because this is the page we're currently on and this should be white when we're on it okay so I'm just going to resize this to 136 and then to 
three. Fits nicely in there. Go and get our second image. Now this one's going to be the orange one. Put this on here. Perfect. Add another image. Levers. Okay. One, two, six. One, two, three. Nicely does it. And then finally, let's get our contact. No idea why I did a contact button. I just had websites in my mind. That's all right. Let's just get a contact page. Actually, it'd be a good idea to have a contact page on a on a BI report. If we do need to contact the owner, or we do need some information on the report, then we can use contact page to leave some details there. Okay. So actually, I'm going to change this to orange as a background. And then I'm going to change the background of this button to white. Remove the transparency. Okay, so that looks a bit better. Okay, so now we've got our menu and we are currently on the home page. So that's essentially our menu created. So now what we do is hover over each of these, click on these, enable our link, and then we select our bookmark and we'll set that to home page. In fact, actually, because we're on the home page, we don't even need to set that. But we do need to set it for our sickness report. Click on the sickness analysis. Highlight the levers. Click on the levers. And then the contact. I've created no contact, but let's just set that as the levers anyway. Okay. So that's essentially our contact page done. Our menu, uh, navigation done, actually. Um, now, if we go over to our sickness analysis, what we need to do is do the exact same to that. And the only difference being is that instead of having a white home page, we're going to use our orange home page and then set this to go to the home page. Okay, and then we've got the white sickness report, give it a white background. And if we go into our levers forecast, then we'll do the same for that. The levers forecast button will be white and everything else will be orange. Okay. So now when we're on our home page, all we need to do is click on our sickness report. And then I'll take us to our sickness detail. Once it loads up. Come on, power BI. You have the power. These people who are sick don't have the power by the looks of it. Okay, and then we can click on our levers forecast, navigate to that, and then we can navigate back to the home page as well from there. So we know exactly where we are at all times. And there you go, that's creating a navigation menu, interactive, changing so we know exactly where you are. Um, I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with bookmarks. Just to keep things, a few things in mind, uh, the custom visuals do not work with bookmarking if they are the source of the filter. So if you're using custom visuals to filter elements on a page, for example, a chiclet slicer, and return to that page using a bookmark, then that page may be filtered, but the custom visual won't be updated to show that page is, is being filtered. Okay. Now cross highlighting status for a report pane is not saved when you create a bookmark as well. Uh, moving around visuals after a bookmark has been created will be reflected in the bookmark as well. So let's say, for example, you've created your bookmark here for the homepage sickness report, etc. If we move some of these visuals around, they will still appear when you click on this link to go back to the homepage or go to the sickness report. Those changes will be reflected. OK, so I hope that was all right for you guys. Um, you know, stay tuned. More videos coming out soon. Uh, and thanks for watching.